Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're working on Anatomy of a Mix number three. The song is I Remember by Drive-By Angels. Today, part five, we're working on bass guitars. So we'll take you through real-time examples of us mixing the bass guitars with the track. We hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please subscribe and give us a like. Also, hit the notification button so we can let you know when we have more videos like this coming in. Don't forget to comment or ask any questions. I'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks again for your support. Enjoy it. Now, so we're going to run all our bases into the bass aux, and they're getting treated with a bunch of different things. So I'm going to auto-align all my bases now. And you can just hear the bass and get a general idea what's happening. So let's solo our chorus and check out the basses. So we have the bass DI on now. So here's our initial first. So that's our main bass aux channel. Let's see, it might need a little help. Let's see what we can do for it. Some manly elop helped a little bit. And I think it's gonna need a little cleanup. Okay, so that helped a lot. We ran it through a bunch of outboard. So now let's go back down and dial down that DI and see what we feel here. Now we got the Now we have a B15. And an SVT. So let's start making a little blend of these. That's just the DI, that sounds good right there. Sans amp. Sans amp we don't need, let's try the SVT. What 
really helps the bass a lot is more than one out. So having one that's got some high end really helps a lot. So let's try it with the high end in. We have a malt on it, let's check it. So I have an alternate high we don't need. Okay, so I have another one that kicks in in the choruses here. I have no idea why I did that prior, so let's see. So here's what happened in this session with our bass guitars. There was a bass DI, so I auto-lined the bass DI to the kick. Then I had a B15 amp and an SVT, and I auto-aligned those two to the DI. So everything was phase aligned. Next thing I did was assign them to their appropriate sends, which is a bass aux submaster. Then what's different with the basses so far than we've used on the drums or the acoustics is that the basses has multiple aux submasters dealing with different frequencies. So the main aux submaster lets everything through. So I want to get a good blend on that, plenty of low end, and just make it sound really great. The second one only lets high end through and is compressed in a certain way to accentuate the attacks so you can hear all the finger or pick articulation of the bass part throughout the mix. And Once again, I got to check all of this in context against the drums and the acoustic guitar so far. So it's a fluid process. You'll check things on their own, then you'll check, you'll get them together within their group of instruments, then you'll get them together against whatever you have in the track. And as more things keep getting added to the track, there'll be slight rebalancing. But what you have to remember to be efficient, you won't have to do any more internal rebalancing, it'll be rare. So you may make the drums a hair louder or softer, but you'll just do it with one move because you have a group for the drums. <laughs> 